Now, faith is the assurance of what we hope for and the evidence of what we do not see. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Through Christ you believe in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Therefore, since we have been declared righteous by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand, and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. For in hope we have been saved, yet hope that is seen is not hope, for who hopes for what he already sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. Be joyful in hope, persevering in tribulation, devoted to prayer. For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us so that through perseverance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. For through the Spirit we eagerly await by faith the righteousness for which we hope. Godliness is beneficial in every way since it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. In fact, we labor and strive for this because we have put our hope in the living God who is the Savior of all people, especially of those who believe. Command and teach these things. Pay close attention to how you live and to your teaching. Persevere in these things. For by doing this, you will ensure salvation, both for yourself and for those who hear you. To build up the faith 
of those God has chosen and their knowledge of the truth that leads to godliness in the hope of eternal life that God who cannot lie promised before time began. For the grace of God has appeared bringing salvation for all people, instructing us to deny godlessness and worldly lusts and to live in a sensible, righteous, and godly way in the present age while we wait for the blessed hope and appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, so that being justified by His grace, we would become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Thank you.